This is Westwater coming up. It's uh, based on a, a photograph by Nick Thorne. Um, I'm not going to show it, but uh, it's just a a base for a painting really. Just a, I'll do my own thing with it as usual. But uh, vistas like the Lake District don't exist outside my window. I'm just looking at suburbia. Right, okay, so I'll wet the paper all over. It's Fabriana 130 pounds. We're down to my last 50 sheets. I have to order some soon. Uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey and burnt sienna. So, here we go. Friday afternoon. Oh, I just want to clip that. I've just done a rough, a rough uh, sketch of the uh, what I'm going to do. A few rubbings out, trying to get the proportions right. Right. Don't forget to get a bit of water by your clips. That tends to get left out in my paintings until I, it's too late. Alright, okay, use the two inch hake, Royal Manson hake. <coughs> so, raw sienna, as a, just a gentle warm. Okay, I knew an artist once, Keith Birkinshaw who used to finish his watercolour demonstrations and he would go over the whole lot, but it was dry, with a wash of burnt sienna, or, sorry, raw sienna. And it just seemed to unify everything. It was quite a clever wash, a bit risky. I'm missing a little bit of paint spray with that blue because I want quite a, quite a lot of in there. Okay, now when you do your cloud or your sky just go over the landscape a bit because it will look as if you're just fitting in the sky in between the peaks or the trees or whatever. And I'll put a bit of a uh, alizarin crimson with a bit of grey and a bit of blue on the alizarin side and just <coughs> okay, we'll see how that how that pans out there. Okay, I'll re reclip the paper and I'll give it a bit of a dry before it all disappears to the bottom of the sheet. Headphones off, on, off. Okay, that'll do. No, it's not it's bone dry. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right. Right, I'll go to start putting in the uh, the distant hills first. So we've got to create a, a, an illusion of depth. So I'm just mixing a, just a, a nondescript sort of colour. It's a bit darker than that. A uh, bit of shadow in, in here. Right, and a bit bit warmer as we come round the onto the next one. The sun's coming coming from that that area, so
and a bit of warm light in, in here. Right there, another bit of a bit of dark shadow on this side here. Get that light back in the uh, and then a good dark shadowy colour, but warm. Nice and dark, but a warm dark coming into lighter. Catching a little bit of light in here, and we'll put in a bit of green, I think. Can't see any green in the photograph, but. I come down to the horizon, which I drew. Right, and now I want to put the shadows back on these. Now um, I'm going to lift out some of that when, it, when this dries because I want to show some snow on the top of one of the hills. So let's just get that. Now this, I've got to be careful it doesn't go to mud. Uh, just, just get that water line in there. Just. Okay. I uh, can't really see any, any rocks or anything in the photograph. Well, this is a copyright free photograph and all you have to do for the copyright, as far as I know, is, don't quote me, is to mention the name of the artist. Now, this is a sort of cast shadow here. And I'll just go over this a bit here. Some little bits of shadow on here. I'll 
Uh, it's just a little bit hard, that edge, so I'm just going to put a bit of water on it, just to soften it a little bit, like that, that'll do. And then we've got a much lighter hill without not in shadow, so... I'm leaving bits of margin between some of the cliffs, otherwise I don't want it all to, to merge. Uh, so I get that down here? Oh. And just a little bit of dark on there. Nice, strong burnt sienna sort of foliage on there, but you do need to to use neat paint if you're going over a wet passage and you want it to register. You've got to be thick with it, and then that comes down in there. Alright, that will do it. Now we've, we've got a lot of foreground here, some like uh, rocky shore sort of grasses. And then becoming some lighter grasses. There's all grass here with some nice dark bits in it, just to, I can show this with the rigger really, oh, nice warm and some lights and darks now with greens so, to control the water, you don't want too much water when you brush me doing this Some nice thick green, so some Payne's grey and some good lemon yellow. That's a nice, good, really thick bit of burnt sienna with a grassy colour, with a lemon yellow, grey, just to give some shadow areas in these longer grasses. So I find a card and uh, just just etch in some. Could have make a so the, uh, sort of putting a, a label and say this is grass. So it's going to make an impression of it. So I might know how to do this really. So a little goes a long way. But I'll, I'll just reclip this. And I've got I've got a got a rock in the middle there. So let's just put that in. So blue burnt sienna, quite a dark rock and a bit of raw sienna in there.
writing that card. Just uh, just to help the rocky feel. Now there's a lot of dark on that on the edge of this uh, grassy beach. So I'm going to need to put in some really dark bits here. Okay, that's coming on. Then all I have is a bit of detail in this grass. Uh, some some texture on these hills. Oh, we'll just a bit of texture in. I can't really see a lot on the photograph. It's all just all in overexposed shadow, but. All these little dips and grooves in the I do like burnt sienna. That's, it gives wonderful darks with blues and, and the grey, paints grey. And we'll do some some raw sienna, which is very, very thick now, a bit like me. Right, uh, that's more or less that. Uh, bit of a darker bit there than I've actually got. No, 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 I can't see any detail on this one. I might take a risk and show you the, the, the photograph, but it's nothing like what I'm working from anyway. But I don't want to uh, infringe copyrights, I'm going to get into trouble with YouTube. But it does say on the site that all I need to do is to acknowledge the name of the artist who, uh, the artist who owns the copyright. I don't know why I did that. I don't want that. Right, I've got some dry brush there, a little bit. Uh, so I'll do that because it's all nice, well, probably now I'll just get that dry. Headphones off. <laughs> <coughs> nice and flat, nice and flat. Um, now I want to do a bit of lifting out here, so I'm going to just wet this here a little bit. Just to show a little bit of snow there. Just lift that out. It's not a cloud, it's it's snow. And I can't see much snow on the other peak there. But I'll put in a little bit of dark on just to concentrate. Uh, Complement the light and dark. Oh, my paint is too wet. Take a bit more than that. Now that needs to be just a, this one here needs just to be a little bit. Textured a little bit. Seems to be a few trees up the top there. I'm 
I'm a great one for keeping things soft wherever possible. Okay, that's up to there. Just get a little bit of shadow in there. I'm just going to take a little bit more of this, this out there and that there. That's too hard is there. So we just soften it. Okay, we'll let that go. Right, so now some, I'll just clean the palette and we'll get some clean dry brush on here. A little bit of all that burnt sienna and that white mess. But that's okay, we've got palette grey there. And palette grey is always a useful non-colour. So, I want a darker blue in here to, ref to show the reflection of that. So a bit of blue and a bit of Payne's Grey. Right, that's about that looks like I've missed that deliberately, that rock there, but anyway, I'm going to leave that, I don't want to make it worse. Now, a rigger, just a bit of rigger working in here now, just to see if we can show some of these uh, grasses. And so, it's just the usual green made from sienna, burnt sienna, lemon yellow, and Payne's grey. Oh, oh. So here we are, let's just... Look, it's very simple. Just use the edge of the of your rigger. And there's clumps of uh, some darker. Oh, just a few flicks here and there. That'll do. Let's uh, sign it. 
I use a pen because I, the, the paper is a bit too low for, for me. But now, oops, I can't find pen in my absolute mess on here. Uh, pen, pen, pen. It's unbelievable the mess I work. Oh, here's it, it is over here. One pen, so we just sign that. Uh, and I think a bird. Right, I can't think, no boats or anything in there. Uh, so, I'll show you the f what I work from. Now, I'm sure I got this right. I'm quite at liberty to show this. Nick Thorne is the photographer who owns the copyright. And he's taken, oops, that's one of my Venice paintings. Yeah? Uh, I've, I've lost my picture. Ah, oh, there it is. Right, I'm going to put this in a mount. I will have a closer look at it. This might be the last one I do till Monday afternoon or beyond. <coughs> Put it in the blue mount. Okay. And there we are, Rust Water from a photograph on, on the internet by Nick Thorne. Let's bring that round and we'll come down a little bit, ah, it's really nice and square on there. So there we are, West Water, W-A-S-T Water, Lake District. I have been to the Lake District several times, so